Good morning, children. How are you today? I hope everything's good. So I have a special guest here with me. This is Junebug. Can you say hi? Hey, Junebug. She's looking out the window. Anyways, I hope you had a really good week. I was busy. I was outside working today with some tools. Um, let's see. Anyone know what this one is? Right. It's a hammer. Junebug. Oh. Do you really want to help? Okay, just a second. How about this? Ever seen this one before? Right, it's a tape measure. You measure things with it, how long it is. But that's not the tool. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. That's not the tool that I want to talk to you about today. The tool I want to talk to you about is this one. Any of you ever seen this one before? It's kind of funky. If you look right there, it's got a line. It's got a bubble in it. Let's see if you can see it a little better here. There we go. You see the bubble in there? Hmm. So this is called a level. And what it's used for is to make things even, straight, and flat. So have you ever helped your mom or your dad maybe hang a picture? Something like this. And you don't want to hang it like that. And you don't want to hang it like that. You want to get it nice and level. So you use one of these to get it straight. How about a shelf? What happens if you hang a shelf and it's not flat? All this stuff slides off of it. It's, uh, it's not, it doesn't work very well. Well, that's a reminder that we all need balance. You have good balance in our lives. Meaning, if, I guess at your age, you don't have maybe so much to do, but I mean, you've got schoolwork, some of you. You've got time to be with your family, time to spend with your friends and play, time to be with God, um, and some time to rest. We all need things to do during the day, and we need to decide how to spend them right. The thing is, right now, maybe you don't have so much to do. As you get older, and some of you older children, you may have to do more things, sports, music, clubs, volunteering, jobs, and homework. Ugh. Anyways, it's going to get more and more challenging for you to make time for all the things that you're going to want to and have to do. How do you keep balance in your life? How do you make sure that you don't do too much of one and not enough of the other? Well, let's look at this level again. So what we know is that this level is balanced when the bubble is perfectly between these two lines, right in the middle. Just like this level, our lives are balanced when we put God at the center of our lives. When we put God first, he'll give us the wisdom to make the right decisions to keep the balance. You'll learn if you keep God in the center to make the right decisions. You'll make time for the things you have to do, like homework, practices, and jobs, and balance it with the stuff that you want to do, like playing and having fun, and the stuff that you need to do, spending time with your family and spending time with God. If God falls away from the center and we don't have him at the center of our lives, things can get crooked and can get crazy pretty fast. So. If you can keep God in the center of your life, you'll find that you have more than enough time to do the important things and to stay balanced. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for helping us stay level and keep God at the center of our lives. Amen. Bye. See you soon.